Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see an interesting topic that is units and dimensions. Before going to my topic, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Now, before going to my topic, what is the meaning of quantity? Quantity means nothing but size, amount, vastness, magnitude or simply stated as the answer for how much or how many. For example, I'm going to write now and if I'm taking, I'm asking a shopkeeper, I want 1 kg of apples. Now, 1 kg of apples means how many apples are they? They, that they are called quantity. If I am taking to 1 kg means this is the apple quantity. This is known as quantity, amount or size or vastness or etc. This is called the quantity. Next, we will go to the physical quantity. Physical quantity means a quantity which can be measured. Is called physical quantity. For example, if I am taking a person, this is the person I don't know to draw a good. Now, now we are measuring his height. This is known as physical quantity. This is known as physical quantity. Now, this is known as physical quantity. Now we check next one. The set of fundamental physical quantity. Before going to that, physical quantities are classified into three groups. They are fundamental, supplementary and derived. Now, we will see fundamental. Now, fundamental means nothing but consider the set of physical quantities. No quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantity. Then the set is called set of fundamental physical quantity. I am going to take the example mass, length and time. Now, in this above set, mass cannot be derived from the remaining physical quantities and similarly others. So, it is a set of some fundamental quantity. This is the example. Now, in SI, there are seven fundamental physical quantities. There are seven fundamental physical quantities. They are length, time, mass, thermodynamic temperature, strength of electric current, amount of substance and luminous intensity. They are, the seven are length, mass, time, thermodynamic temperature, strength of electric current, amount of substance and luminous intensity. Now, we will check next supplementary physical quantity. In supplementary physical quantity, there are two types. They are plane angle and others are and other are solid angle these are the two types of supplementary angles now we will go to derived physical quantities physical quantities derived from fundamental or Supplementary physical quantities are called derived physical quantity. For example, force, area, volume, speed, etc. They are the units. Now, fundamental physical quantities are like alphabet in English language and derived physically quantities are like words. Now, we will see the exercises, some of the exercises. Among the following physical quantities is R. What is the physical quantity? Option is, I told that there are some physical fundamental quantity. They are mass, length and some other. Let's we check the answer. Phys they ask physical quantity. Then the answer is volume. They are volume. Next one, we'll check the answer. Yeah, here is the physical quantity. Volume is there. Next, in the set of fundamental physical quantities in SI, no quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantity. Some quantities can 
be derived from the remaining physical quantities all quantities can be derived from remaining physical quantities or none of this so the answer is no quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantity option a mass is a fundamental quantity in si because it cannot be expressed in terms of other physical quantities it is in the set of fundamental quantities of si it cannot be a derived physical quantity in any system it is a fundamental quality quantity in all the system the answer is option b next a measurable quantity is taken as a dash physical quantity fundamental quantity derived quantity and supplementary quantity physical quantity is the answer in a set of physical quantities if no quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantities then the set is called a set of fundamental quantities the answer is option c because we learned that in the set of fundamental physical quantities in sir no quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantity so the answer is option d now let's in option c among the following the supplementary quantity is supplementary quantity i told you two types of quantities are there in supplementary they are plane, plane angle and solid angle here where is the plane angle or solid angle here option c is the plane angle so it is the answer next one in si the number of the supplementary angle quantities is r i told you two types of supplementary angles are there they are two option b among the following the fundamental quantity is as in si is i told you seven fundamental quantity here where is the fundamental quantity yeah it is c mass among the following the derived quantity in si is mass time force and temperature yeah the answer is option c force at present the system adopted by all the scientists in the world is yeah yes i okay we'll just check some five to six questions now the number of fundamental physical quantities in si are seven i told you the a physical quantity that can be derived from other quantity is called so the answer is supplementary quantity now third one in a set of physical quantity if no quantity can be derived from the remaining physical quantities then the set is called a set of derived quantity no because it is fundamental quantity derived quantity is d it can be derived from the uh, supplementary quantity as well as fundamental quantity so it's false now fourth one thermodynamic temperature it is a fundamental quantity so where is b option in option d the b option is option d now we'll see other also density it is a derived physical quantity so e option c e and final option a now a quantity which can be measured is called physical quantity physical quantities are classified into three type groups are fundamental and others a physical quantity can be measurable may be measurable must be measurable all the above here where is can be measurable here the answer next the quantity which is independent of other quantities is called the quantity which is independent of other quantities is called derived physical quantity a derived quantity can be derived from fundamental quantity only derived from supplementary quantity only can be derived from both fundamental and or derived quantity none of these option c the answer is option c thank you guys for watching this is enough for uh, today class let's see other chapters in next coming class thank you